Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show us how to, uh, first of all, delete the model we started with. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Katherine Johnson, um, just to clean our, our, our piece up, our workspace up. And then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating the eyeball. All right, so using the circle tool today. Um, so how we're gonna start this out is when we get into SketchUp, we are going to start by this zooming out so we can see Katherine Johnson. I'm just gonna kind of zoom over. Uh, remember, wherever you zoom out as far as uh, scroll alt, and then wherever you move your cursor to when you scroll in is where it scrolls into. I'm going to use the selection tool. That's the space bar. Um, I select the space bar. It usually clicks to change this to it. Mine didn't for some reason right there. And then I'm going to also click on the model uh, to select it. And then I'm going to hit the backspace for you guys, I believe, on your Chromebooks. But on your, um, on your uh, computers, it's either delete or backspace. All right. And then she's gone. The eraser tool would also work that same way. So if you were to go to the eraser tool and then select that or click and drag through her, it would delete those things that you come in contact with. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the top view. All right. And we're just going to go right to the side over here. Um, eventually, we'll put the eyes on his face. But right now, we're actually going to learn a little bit about, uh, I guess, doing some components. It's not going to be in this video, but it'll be later on. Um, and we're going to start with just by making one eyeball. So we're going to go and we're going to click the letter C on the keyboard, all right? Or if you go to the side where the tools are, select the third tool down, which is the circle. And we're just going to go off to the right-hand side, making sure our circle is not going to come in contact with our original rectangle. And we're going to click, and we're going to slide out. One of the things that's really handy about making circles, if you want them to work really well, is making sure that we have endpoints in the right spot. So always go straight up. Or straight out because you wouldn't think about a circle having endpoints, but they do in SketchUp. Um, and if you want them to be, I guess, at the 90s, uh, you want to have them going straight out or straight up. Now, uh, the next thing we can do is find out our sizes for our eyeball. So the eyeball itself is going to be 100 millimeters across. All right, the diameter is 100 millimeters, and uh, the pupil will be 50 millimeters. And later on, we'll need depths as far as the thickness of 25 millimeters and 5 millimeters extra for the pupil. Now, when we go into our SketchUp, when we click on our circle, I already accidentally froze that, so I'm just deleting my last one, selection in, in backspace, uh, circle again, clicking, sliding straight up, straight out. Um, when I drop that, I want to type in the radius it's calling for, so 100 millimeter diameter is a 50 millimeter radius, so that being 50, hitting enter. Now, that is the start of our eyeball, all right? Uh, we will be adding more things to it in the next video. Thank you for watching.